Today we're gonna talk about juggling world records and only the best of the best. To this date there are 30 different base pattern world records ranging from 3 to 14 balls, 3 to 13 rings and 3 to 9 clubs. I have already talked about the top 10 easiest records to beat, but now we have to cover the top 10 hardest to beat. This is the top 10 hardest juggling world records to beat. Number 10. 7 ring world record. At number 10 we find the world record of Anthony Gatto from the United States who in 2006 juggled 7 rings for an astounding 15 minutes and 6 seconds. This record was set in front of a live audience before ending the run with a 5-up 360 to a clean finish. A truly amazing feat. But what's so special about this record is how far ahead it is of everyone else. The closest documented 7 ring record is 1 minute and 41 seconds of Will Colombiani from Italy, who did it isolated without moving his feet. But closer than that, no other juggler has ever gotten officially. But the juggler Pavlov Sukrich from Belarus who later moved to Russia is claiming to have done the amazing run of 7 minutes and 20 seconds back in 2010, which is an incredible run. But over 15 minutes as Gatto did is in a league of its own. Number 9. 13 ring world record. This is one of the most mysterious records of them all. All the way back in 2002, Albert Lucas from the United States did the amazing feat of throwing and catching 13 rings. This got caught on camera and got shown to the jugglers who attended the IJ Juggling Festival that year. This record is verified, but except from that one event, the video is yet to be published for the rest of the world to see. And now, 19 years later, no one has even been able to tie his record, even though the juggler Ville Colombiani certainly has gotten really close. But tying the record is one thing, and beating it is another. And keeping in mind that in 19 years no juggler on the planet has done the same feat as Albert, getting one more catch than him seems to be incredibly difficult. Number 8. 13 ball world record. In the year 2005, Peter Brown of Great Britain did the impossible. He became the first juggler to ever do 13 throws and catches with 13 balls. At least, most likely. This feat never got caught on camera, and for the following years there weren't any promising attempts of 13 balls to find online. That is until the juggler Alex Barron arose. On May 2nd, 2011, Alex publishes this video. And three weeks later, this. Now, the grind towards being the first juggler to ever throw and catch 13 balls on video had began. And after thousands of attempts, five months later on the 21st of October 2011, Alex Barron became the first juggler to ever juggle 13 balls for one whole cycle of 13 throws and catches on camera. But that didn't stop him. Just shy of a month later, he published another video with the title 13 ball flash cleaner and for quite some time this looked like where the record would stay but just one and a half years later Alex Barron did a massive 15 catches of 13 balls which is today's record and still to this date there are only two jugglers who have ever done 13 balls on camera with Dylan Tweed in 2019 being the second juggler and if someone were to try to go for at least 16 throws and catches the number of attempts it will take would certainly not be few. Number 7. 11 ring world record. Back in the 1960s, the juggler Albert Petrovsky from Russia became the first to ever juggle 11 rings for one whole cycle. And it would take almost another 30 years before the juggler Anthony Gatto became the first juggler to ever demonstrate 11 rings on camera. Another juggler who had done 11 rings was the great Sergei Ignatov from Russia and both him and Gatto became important for the evolution of this record. Anthony ended up with the longest official run of 17 catches in 2006, 
but both of them claim to have done it for longer. And here the record would stay for many years, until a new generation of ring jugglers had taken place. In January 2020, Daniel Lysenko did a massive run of 21 catches, smashing the old world record. And if someone were to break this world record, they would become the first jugglers to ever complete two whole cycles of 11 rings. This would be an amazing feat, and is sure something that I hope to happen in the future. Number 6. 11 ball world record. Closely related to 11 rings, we have 11 balls. Way back in 1907, Frank Ledant from the United States was the first juggler to ever be getting credit for juggling 11 balls, as one can see from these newspaper samples. But in New York Times, Bruce Arapin from the United States in 1992 matched that feat of doing one cycle of 11 catches with 11 balls, and in 1994 he did 12 catches, breaking the world record. This got another juggler excited, and that was the juggler Jason Garfield from the United States. Jason Garfield tied Bruce's record of 12 catches in 1997 and broke it in 2000 by getting 14 catches of 11 balls. But Bruce didn't give up. In 2001 he entered again and got 15 catches, which is where the record stood for quite some time. While all of this took place, the juggler Bruce Tiemann, which also was from the United States, also accomplished to juggle 11 balls in 1995, but he never broke the world record. But finally, in 2010, it was time for the Brits to overtake the throne as the champions of high number ball juggling. And for a while, this was a shared throne between Alex Barron and Peter Bone. On August 13th, 2010, Alex Barron tied Bruce's record of 15 catches, and only three days later, on August 16th, he shocked the community by getting 17 catches and a new world record. But the juggler Peter Bone saw this and felt like he had to do something about it. On August 19th, only three days after Alex broke the world record, Peter Bone did a huge 18 catches to take back the crown. But four days after this, Alex did 19. And in two more days, Alex did 21 catches. And four days after this, Peter did 19. These guys were unstoppable. Now the whole world was watching and screaming one more catch to see if any of them would become the first juggler to ever manage two cycles for at least 22 catches with 11 balls. And on the same day as Peter did 19 catches, Alex did 23. At least, so we think. Due to the wind, the camera fell over and the magical limit of 22 catches seemed to stay untouched. It took Alex Barron 12 days to go from 15 to 21 catches, but it took him almost another 2 years to finally break the 22 catches barrier by getting 23 catches on April 3rd, 2012. 2, two years of pain. But he wasn't satisfied. He did 25 catches, he did 26 catches, and finally, on September 17th, 2017, an unbelievable 33 catches, juggling 11 balls for 3 whole cycles. And this is where the record has stood ever since. The British juggler Tom Whitfield has gotten quite close by getting 27 catches on multiple occasions, but to take away the title of the world's best 11 ball juggler is certainly no easy task. If you've come this far into this video and you like what you see, please consider subscribing so that I can push out more content like this. And now over to top 5. Number 5. 14 ball world record. As you might have come to notice, Alex Barron is an absolute beast when it comes to high number ball juggling. You already heard the history of 13 balls, but as some of you know, 13 balls isn't the most balls that anyone has juggled. Back on December 21st, Alex Barron and Dave Leahy made their first attempts at 14 balls which looked like this. This was the start of most likely a long journey, but that journey we never really heard anything of. 
That is until April 19, 2017, when Alex Byrne out of nowhere pushed out a massive 14 throws and catches of 14 balls, and even in the asynchronous pattern as well. We couldn't believe our eyes. And to this day, no other person on the planet has managed to throw and catch 14 balls. Even though this record was done in an asynchronous pattern where you release with alternating hands, one could break this record by doing it in the synchronous pattern as shown here. But just tying this record would be no short of amazing. And adding just one more throw and catch makes this insanely difficult pattern just even more difficult. Number 4. Nine Ball World Record what makes the 9-ball record so special is that even for top-level jugglers, this pattern is only held for some few seconds. This is the type of pattern that some will never be able to do, even if they put decades of hard work into it. Doing over 50 catches is really impressive. Over 100 catches is crazy good, and only ever done by 5 jugglers officially and 5 unofficially. And only one person has officially done over 200 catches. And that same guy has also done more than 300 catches. Actually, 302 to be exact. And this person is no other than Anthony Gatto. And get used to that name, because it's going to come a lot from him higher up on the list. But another juggler that I think is worth a mention is Ufek Schneer. When I visited Ufek back in April 2017, I came to one of his practice sessions, where I saw him do around 200 catches of 9 balls live. Ufek Schneid is by many considered to be the best ball juggler to ever live, and if anyone were to overtake Gatto's 9 ball record, Ufek would be the one to do it. Sadly though, Ufek stopped juggling before this ever happened, but given the fact that maybe the best ball juggler ever couldn't beat this record from 2006, just goes to show how incredible this record really is. Number 3. 6 Club World Record If we step one year back to 2005, we find three more amazing world records. The first one is the 6 Club World Record of 1622 catches or 7 minutes and 38 seconds by Anthony Gatto. This record is not only a display of amazing coordination, but also a display of amazing strength and endurance abilities. Getting tired after 100 catches of 6 clubs is very usual by top level jugglers, and after 200 catches, the muscles usually are fatigued. But here, Gatto does 8 times that. The closest anyone has gotten to Gatto's record is the juggler Manuel Mitash from Austria with an amazing 750 catches. But his record is unofficial, so the closest person to Gatto's record is almost 900 catches away. And we can't even prove this, even though it is very likely that a run like this by Manuel took place. And also, think about that the world record for 6 rings is 6 minutes and 16 seconds, which is over a minute less than the 6 club world record. And if we compare the 8 club world record of 16 catches to the 8 ring record of over 300 catches, one can easily understand that clubs is way harder than rings, which magnifies this amazing record even more. Number 2. 9 ring world record As one can begin to realize by now, 2005 and 2006 were two years of true dominance from Gato's side. In 2005 Gato showed the world what he could do with 9 rings. And that was a crazy 235 catches. You might remember that I mentioned that it was real impressive to do over 50 catches of 9 balls, and that only 5 jugglers officially and 5 jugglers unofficially had ever done more than 100 catches of 9 balls. Well, here, no juggler except Gatto has done more than 100 catches. The closest juggler to Gatto is the 11 ring world record holder Daniel Lysenko, with 79 catches from the year 2020, which is the only juggler in the world to ever do more than 50 catches officially. The great juggler Sergei Ignatov, who is considered to be one of the greatest ring jugglers of all time, claims to have done 140 catches. But still, that falls way short of Gatto. His 9 ring abilities are almost unchallengeable. 
and to even imagine that some will come close to beating this record is hard to believe. Before revealing number one, I would like to include some honorable mentions. 10 balls for 39 catches by Tom Whitfield. 12 rings for 16 catches by Willy Colombiani. 3 balls for 12 hours and 5 minutes by David Slick. 7 balls for 16 minutes and 25 seconds by Esteban Almonacid. Number 1 7 Club World Record For the number 1 spot, there can't really be any other record than this one. 7 clubs for an insane 4 minutes and 24 seconds or 1074 catches. Crazy difficult juggling combined with amazing strength and endurance, crushing the rest of the competition by doing over 3 times as many catches as the closest juggler, Vova Galchenko from Russia, living in the United States with 300 catches officially. And except for one claim by Christian Hauschil and one official run by Kento Tanyoka, no other juggler than Galchenko and Gatto has passed the 200 mark, even though this is one of the records that jugglers practice towards the most. This record is truly the work of a master, and if someone says that this record will never be broken, they might be correct. This is for sure the hardest juggling world record to beat. Do you agree with this list? What records are you most impressed about? If you like this type of videos, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you loved it, you can support my making of these videos by becoming a Patreon and at the same time get early access to tutorials and get the option to request juggling tutorials as well. Keep on juggling and thank you for watching.